Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Log Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. Today I have Zeri with me from Zeri's Mobile Gaming. We are here ready to talk about Dragon Champions. If you saw yesterday's video, yesterday I met up with Carnifex from Nerd This and him and I talked about what we were thinking about was going on in the raid. We accomplished our tier uh, two, our tier seven raid. We talked about the state of the game and what we thought was good and what we thought was bad. We talked about the new legendaries and that sort of stuff. I thought today would be a great time to bring in yet another great content creator who you all should be listening to Zeri. He's got some great videos about for noobs, especially uh, check out his newest video, which is noobs for goblins. His description, his link will be in the description below. Of course, as always be a dragon champions.info is going to be in the description below. You need to go there. Always go there. Look at your stuff. It's very, very, very important. Welcome to my bedroom. Look at my TIE fighter. It's awesome. Look, we can finger it. Yeah, it's super cool. Now, I'm a huge, huge, huge Star Wars fan, but I do not play Star Wars. This right here, if you guys are interested at all, it's actually my bar license. Uh, that thing is one that says I'm actually a licensed attorney. This is all my wife's stuff over here, right? And, of course, all our craziness, and then we never make our bed. So, if anybody wants to say anything about how messy it is, eh, whatever. I'm just messing around with the camera. It's a good time. But Zeri, thank you so much for being here. I see that you're a Seahawks fan just like me. We had a big win today. Absolutely. Shouldn't have been that close. Uh, but thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you coming on the channel. Everybody, if you are new around here to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notifications bell. Leave a comment down below. And then check out his channel. Go over to his channel. Subscribe to him. Hit that notifications bell. So we can all be a big family here and we can all enjoy Dragon Champions to the best and have all the knowledge that we could possibly have available to us so ziri tell us what you're doing right now on your channel uh well first off thanks for having me on greatly appreciate it um i think it's awesome that we can all get together and make this content for everybody out there um what i got coming up for my channel is i I'm st i specialize mostly in you know getting people off the ground kind of getting your feet running and i am currently on the back burner right now working on team compositions using our test account Mm -hmm. to kind of further that knowledge. Um, I've had a few requests to get out some, you know, raid videos and things like that, but they're, they're flooding the market, obviously, right now, as we all know. And um, right. so I'm trying to trying to get away from that and just trying to make stuff people want to watch that could be beneficial for the newest player to the oldest player. Well, that's awesome. I, and I think that everybody needs that. Even me, I, you know, I, I make mistakes constantly in the game. I go in and I pick... I picked, uh, you know, I do the ability scrolls where I pick the wrong ones. Uh, you know, Carnifex had a great video that came out recently where he talked about where to put his, the ability scrolls, what abilities were good. And he kind of set up a whole thing. And of course, that's very subjective. But I mean, it's it's a matter of where you're at in the game and where you want to be at in the game. And I think that's all very, very good. Uh, so Correct. at this particular point, where are you at in the game on your personal account? Um, what are you currently working on? Uh, on my personal account, I believe I just dinged 77 today. Nice, congrats. And thank you. And right now, I'm still working on gearing out, finish gearing it off my orcs, and finish seven star in my elves for the next time the event comes back around. And then, you know, watching videos and stuff like that, I'm starting to work a little bit on my humans just in case in the back pocket. Ah, yes. And we'll talk Lord. about that. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Carnifax and I today, we were talking about what we thought was the next legendary event. We talked about uh, who who we think might be the next faction that's needed for the 330 unlock. Uh, do you do you think who do you have an idea of who you think the faction might be for the 330 unlock? I I put my money on humans, just like everybody. Um, the only thing I had sitting in in the back of my mind was the pride faction simply because the way the Delves have done things before, you know, we got the Wonder Lua event. Mm -hmm. She wasn't required because you had the right amount of people, but she greatly benefited that team right. in unlocking Ember. And we just had the Bori kind of event come. So in the back of my mind, it was there, you know, and it still is there. I wouldn't be shocked if they went that route because you could run a complete pride team without Bori, but having Bori would be... Could be beneficial. beneficial to that. Now, I think I I said yesterday um, that a lot of people, you know, I thought it's possible that it could be pandas. And the reason for that is that we just had a legendary event with Ember. Ember makes pandas viable as a faction, in my opinion. Um, Ember, they need damage. 
right? And they don't really have anybody oh, yeah. who deals damage. They do have a healer. They have a great tank. They have a great leadership. They didn't have a damage dealer. And you're going to need, I think... And like I said, this is all speculation, but I think you're going to need seven, five, five star or five, seven star characters to unlock this character. And so if you didn't get Ember and you didn't go hard and get Ember at seven stars, then you're probably not going to be able to get this 330 faction if it's if it's. Uh, pandas. However, if you're thinking about, say, for Pride, for example, right, they would be essentially asking us to put together a team without a healer. All right, Pride doesn't have a healer. We do not have Renara, Correct. and so they would have to be Correct. putting out five DPS. Bori, on the other hand, doesn't have... We can't get him at seven stars. There's no physical possible way to have that character at seven stars, so it wouldn't really help us too much, but if you paid, or if you wailed hard, or just if you had the opportunity, if you had the stuff, right, to get your elves up, Correct. then you have the stuff to get your, uh, you have your pandas, and then pandas still need to be boosted. And right? because Correct. they still need to be boosted, all right, that's another way to make people spend money. And that's another. Now, I still think that that's nicer <laughs> than it, what they could do. They could just say, hey, oh, nobody's yeah. got goblins. Let's say you get goblins. All right. And then, of course, we don't, but that's the same argument, in my opinion. They don't have a healer, right? We'd have to be going in with a tank that nobody has. Even if you have him up, you, you, don't, you don't want to use him. You don't want to use him, right? <laughs> uh, sure. You don't want to use Adam for anything, really. I mean, just had a tournament where people had to use him and people who had him leveled up did better in the tournament but people who didn't didn't uh you know oh, yeah, and so exactly that's kind of exactly. the way it works but i don't think that's the case and pride doesn't have a healer humans make sense but there's not a paywall there um there's not a way to make money i don't think i mean it certainly be a very nice thing to do and these dev developers are amazing people they really care about their community i just yeah. i don't see that going i don't see humans because everybody has it now of course it would be super nice of them because Solius is coming to wreck around on the first, right? In the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. I'm going to be able to get Solius. I believe it's a seven stars. Are you going to be able to get Solius to seven stars? Yeah, it should be. All right. Right. Um, just got to finish up gear in uh, Corkrum and I should be good. Okay. And so, and that's, and me too. I've kind of, I'm kind of in that boat. Uh, I'm trying to do very similar to what I did with Solius. What I, what I'm doing here is I'm kind of just holding off. I'm kind of, gathering resources and then if yeah, I'm trying to do it the, I'm trying to do it the cheapest way possible because orcs really aren't that good they're, they're good they're good for what they do in the beginning of the game they'll get you into the Absolutely. middle of the game but when you get towards towards the end game like you and I are we're not using yeah. orcs anymore um and so they're not really they're not really viable for the raid and they're not used in the PVP meta. And so I don't know what I'm using them for. So I don't want to spend, I don't want to gear all nine them or gear 10 them at the moment because I don't need them for that. Um, and so that's kind right. of where I'm at. Uh, so what are you, what are your, what are your thoughts on who you think the person's going to be the three, 330 unlock? Do you have a, do you have a choice on which of the 330 character? Yeah. More doom. Uh, what is it? More doom, uh, Murdoch. And what is the other one who buff? Uh, what do you think yeah. they have? What do, who do you think it might be the unlock? I don't think it's going to be more doom. Um, I, I believe it's going to be Murdoch, okay. but I would not be shocked if it was buff. Like, in the back of my mind, it could be either one. I if I had to put money on it, I would say Murdoch, but I wouldn't be shocked if they gave us buff. Okay, sounds really really good. And so, where do you think the game is? We're at three months now. We're we're three months mm -hmm. in. I've not been playing the game the entire time. I think I started somewhere in the middle of October. Um, it sounds like okay. you may have started just a little bit after me based on your level. I don't really know. You're yeah. not on my shard. I've looked for you. Um, you're not yeah. on my shard. And so, and I know Carnifax is also not on my shard. He's on the shard right below me. Um, it sounds okay. like you guys might be on the same shard, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Where do you think we're at now? Do you think a legendary character, a 330 legendary unlock is bad for the game or good for the game? Personally, I, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. Um, I made a video where I talked about like mistakes that you could make that could detriment you further in your progression. Mm -hmm. And anybody who plays a mobile game, and this is no discredit to any other mobile game or to the devs or anything like that. It's just when you play a mobile game, you understand the object for them is to make money. 
and right. they're going to do stuff like this. And we've just been extremely blessed as Dragon Champion content creators and fans and players of the game that these devs really haven't done that to us. This is probably one of the best free-to-play friendly games out there at the moment. So I don't think it's bad at all because I think it could gauge of how many people are actually whaling in this game or how many people are playing this as their secondary or third game you know, on in their time in their rotation and things like that. Right. I think it's a really good thing, honestly. Okay. And I do too. I've heard, you know, some of the, you know, I've heard Cubs fan Han and Valley flying recently in their video that they made. They said that they thought it was bad for the game. Um, and I'm not, yeah, I saw that one and also. I'm not sure I'm not, sure, but I think that both of them play this as their secondary game. Um, and so Correct. maybe that's, maybe that's where they're coming from on that with me. This is the only game I'm currently playing on mobile. I don't play any other games on mobile. I'm not playing Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes anymore. And then I have my Xbox that I like to play on and do that sort of stuff. But I mean, I don't do that very much. I mean, this is pretty well it. Uh, I do this right. and I work 70 hours a week. And that's about all I I'm got. Right, yeah. right. And so yeah. that's kind of where I'm that's kind of where I'm at. And so I think this is a cool thing. I think that they're having another legendary event is good. One of the things that I said even on my live stream recently was as long as Solius comes back, I didn't think it was a bad thing. And Solius comes first, I think, and then this. Now, keep in mind that just because we're getting the announcement uh, on the 24th that there's going to be a re, uh, 330 unlock, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be in January. It could be exactly. in February, right? And so maybe yep. maybe that's the way it works. Uh, I'm not and sure. It, like, you, like you're alluding to, I think a lot of it has to do with the way they – they they launched this thing if we need humans and they didn't bring back soleus it'd be it'd be an, an s show for sure but right you know the the fact that you know we got soleus coming back around we're just having the announcement that's not like they're going to announce it based on their past history they're not going to announce it and say okay tomorrow at midnight it starts have fun yeah, I, we're, I this is there. These developers are not Star Wars developers. This is not Capital Games. Right, exactly, who they're gonna exactly. the day before they're gonna say, "Hey, by the way, you need thirty characters to unlock the new stuff." Um, uh, in for what right. I understand, in that game, they currently need thirty characters to unlock the new characters, and nobody knows what they are, and, and it's a giant oh, yes. cluster, right? It's a mess. And yes, so, absolutely. I won't. I, the, the purpose of this video is not to bash other games. The purpose of this video, Correct. of course, is to. You I know, still play Star Wars, so and, and I don't. And I think we talked about it a little bit. And there's a reason yeah. why I don't. But I'm not here to do that. I I love Dragon Champions. I think it's a Me great too. community. I love the content absolutely. creators that are here. New content creators coming up. Um, I love the Be a Dragon Champions website. I call it that. Be, be you know, I can never say it correctly. I always screw it up. Uh, but I'm you know, with you too. I do it all the time. Yeah. It, I. I love that website. It works very, very well. Um, I like getting on there and looking at stuff. So yesterday or two days ago, I think it would be at this point at the time you're watching this video, because this video is not going to go live um, right away. I'm going to set it for the next time uh, for, for tomorrow. And we're recording this on Sunday, but we're going to release it tomorrow. Um, I, at this particular point, I don't, I don't see there being, a problem in the game necessarily but we did just kind of come up with our first kind of hiccup in the game and what i'm talking about is there's ability out there uh uh metatho figured out how to solo both the first part of the raid um the soleus part of the raid with free-to-play characters and he figured out how to solo free to play with free-to-play characters the hard work portion of the raid right. in video yesterday, we talked about how it sounds as if they're going to increase the tenacity of the bosses. So we can't solo these. And I think that that's a really good thing. I thought soloing was very Me bad too. for the game. And I, Absolutely. I may end up having to retract my snorry and, and revel in depth <laughs> video because I felt really, really awful about that. Uh, the possibility of that. So um, they're better characters than I said they were because their value was diminished. Um, but I don't think, I think that, if the tenacity goes back up, their value is going to be restored, especially for the mm -hmm. Solius portion of the raid. What do you think? Oh, about I couldn't that? agree with more with you. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So no, and, and the thing with the, the raid though, real quick is like, this is what people should expect from a group of what is it? Five or six guys. It's not like we're getting tons and tons of problems coming from a huge development crew. It's, it's a very small 
group of guys working together on this thing. So they're not going to, and they do a pretty good job of testing stuff before they get it out, but they're not going to be able to do what a community of, you know, half a million players are going to be able to figure out. So the fact that they, they realize it's an issue, they don't want that to happen right now and they're addressing it. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, well, and that's been the case, at. right? I, they always, yeah. they're so the developers are so good about listening to the community and the feedback and that sort of thing. And I think these, you know, these things got posted and I even did one. I ran first time, never, all I did was throw in the characters that meta though. So said to throw in, right. Threw in the characters mm -hmm. on my live stream. First time, no tr problems. Didn't even have to think and cleared the entire raid. That should not be where we're at in this game. And I'm glad that they're going to do no. something about it. I hope that they will be viable. I think that that turn meter strategy should work to a certain extent, but I don't think it should be able to be soloed at this point. Um, oh, no, I agree. I mean, you got to have something to keep people going. If you just throw in a team, you might as well just hit auto if you can't think about it, but they give you that opportunity. Right. So the fact that the turn meter reductions there, you can, you know, there's other teams that you can mess around with that are still viable. So they're not just giving you one option or just put it on auto and have fun. It's, they want you to be able to think in theory craft, which is great, but that we shouldn't be able to solo it, you know, three months into the game. I agree. I agree completely. So, you know, you have been doing these noob guides uh, for factions and that sort of stuff. Have you completed all of them? I don't believe I've seen a demons guide nope. quite yet. Not yet. I got two left. I got the pride coming out. I've actually shot it. I just got to edit it. Okay. And then I am, then the demons will be the final one. Okay. So we got yeah. pride coming up and then we got demons coming later. Okay, Correct. great. And so as of right now, who do you think is the best faction in the game? In me personally, the best faction in the game is humans. Okay. And if you have Solius. If you have Solius. Um, and and I think that we're seeing that on the test accounts. I, mm -hmm. you know, we've been talking in Discord chat and that sort of stuff. I'd like to see more diversity in the in the meta that we even have on the <laughs> yes. right now. I mean, on the test account there, it's basically all Solius, 90L, Little Batty, Freezard right. and and um, Cruel, right? That's the only yeah. ones we have. We don't have anybody else. That's everybody from one till five or seven or ten. And everybody's running the same team. I have recently put in a different team uh, when I did my story video to show just how, you know, pride is just not particularly like they can't even stand up. Um, I did have a I did have a comment in one of my other videos where the guy was like, it was hard to watch you even play your your the <laughs> gameplay video because you didn't taunt. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, but that was not the point. This wasn't what I was trying to do. And I right. and it, it's very good feedback. I mean, but sometimes it gets lost in translation. What I'm trying to show and what I'm trying to actually do, you know, I was, the point of what I was doing was trying to show how squishy Snorri is, right? Um, if, if you run him in T7, which I'm currently trying to do, not right while we were speaking, but right before we were speaking, like he just keeps getting wiped out every time Solius does his swipe ability on the third turn, done. He just yep. dies, yep. and I can't keep him up, and it's magic damage, and his magic resistance is so bad, and... I don't know if I should put, you know, put more health runes on, put more things on, but then he's going to lose damage. And so it's that right. he, he's losing, he's losing value for me um, when I'm talking to him about that. Uh, but it's kind I of fun. I think, yeah, like players like him, like a, like um, Snorri and, um, you know, the heavy damage dealers in the game, I think their value is at a, a cap right now because we really only have two dot runes. There isn't a lot we can do to, mm -hmm. you know, change things around. And and that's that's one of the things I've seen evident on our test accounts is I'm putting the same rune pretty much on everybody because that's all, all right. we really have. And that's good because then, at least for me, you know, that that is a big bugaboo for me is, you know, it's all RNG based. So at least they're like giving people time to kind of get that up well, and be able to play around a little bit before they release six dot mods or five runes sorry well Star well Wars talk. no it's okay and uh speaking of which it do was announced in our last you know in our last update that there will be four star runes or four dot runes released mm -hmm. in the game i had somebody ask me in my one of my live feeds and i'm going to put the question to you now is is that good for the game is four dot runes where we're currently at good for the game 
I actually answered that in one of my videos when I was going over the chat or the the dev notes. And I personally don't think it is. I I think it might be a little too soon, like the jump, because right now you can farm two dot runes. The three dot runes are still incredibly annoying for me, at least it at my current position as a dolphin. They always seem to be like two levels ahead of me. Right. You know, I'll they they drop. I get guys ready to go. The next time they come around, I'm like, wait a minute. The last time I I couldn't do this either. So it's ex extremely frustrating. I'd like this, like my one thing I'd like to see is okay, maybe drop three dot runes and then make like the tournaments for four dot runes. Kind of continue that sequence that they're doing now. Right. As they get higher and higher. Well, and I but think I that's think true. Two to four is a little rough. Well, and even then, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, you really is feeling like we're going from two to four because unless you bought runes, right? Because the blue Correct. runes I have, I got because I bought them. Um, and then right now, there's an event coming in where the health runes are coming back, the blue runes, and it's like level. Mm -hmm. You can do them at level twenty five, but the speed runes that just came around was seventy seven or or something like that or right. seventy five, and I didn't have. I, I'm 79 and I didn't have the characters to be able to even Correct. try. Like, I, I think I have the gear levels for them, but I don't have the levels because I don't have the tome books, right. To be able to level yeah. them up and I don't have the money. And I'm, i those are things that I don't want to spend necessarily my money on. Um, I want to, I want to spend the money when I'm spending money in the game. I want to buy, you know, dragon coins to be able to not buy money, but to buy <laughs> gear or at this point, right? Right. I want, I want to gear out my characters so I can be effective in the raid um, with the characters that I need. So I can then earn the gear that I need to be able to, you know, gear out my other guys. And so that's kind of where I'm at on that. Um, right. And it, and it's different, especially, you know, you coming from a Star Wars player, it's weird that the gear isn't the crunch. Usually the gear is where they hold you up. You want to take a guy to 80, no problem. Or, you know, you want to take, you know, you want to get his gear or his ability up to level six. Fine. Right. No problem. And then they get you with the gear. It's the second gotcha. Right. But in this game, it's, it's definitely not. It's the scrolls and the gold that just hold you back from accomplishing things. So it's kind of refreshing, but at the same time very annoying and frustrating well and yeah that is true i i think that the bottleneck in the game being the ability scrolls i personally don't have a problem with the ability scrolls being bottlenecked um i know that there are people out there who are like well this is weird um i find <laughs> it kind of refreshing that that is the ability because i can farm those and i can buy those um today yep. on my account on my personal account the scroll thing came up 21.99 here in the u.s i bought it yep. it's 29.99 it is it's, it's a good, a good value. value and i i buy them every single time they come up um yeah. every time they come if they did it every day i probably okay i'd have to slow down but the fact is it right. only happens once every week and a half to two weeks and i can afford that and i think that that's uh, i get a lot of value out of it i also Absolutely. tend to run those i i farm those um while i'm farming the character that i'm trying to farm and doing my dailies i actually farm the ability mats because they're farmable and they're it's it's not terribly hard to do especially if you have some refreshes especially if you have some extra gold if you're winning you know some tournaments or getting some energy that way it's not a bad way to go and so i think that it can be done but i find i actually think that you know gear and where I'm at, gear is kind of the crunch because there are certain there are certain things that I can't farm. All right, like I I can't farm for curse madness. I can only mm -hmm. get it in the raid, and it's only yep. a drop, and it's only sometimes drops. And so for me, I am seeing gear kind of being a crunch. Now I could go and buy curse madnesses. There are a thousand dragon coins. I've done right. it. You know, I've done it. I, I, you know, I'll spend the money on the dragon coins. I will also spend, you know, I'll buy the, uh, what is it? The dragon capes. They kind of look like a cape. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, dragon yeah. veils, or I think is what they're called. Veils, yeah. yeah. I believe they're the veils. Yeah, I, I buy those sometimes because I can't get past, I can't get past the threshold. I can't earn, I can't run the raid enough to get enough of them. And so that's yeah. kind of, I do find that to be the case. Um, you know, didn't, in my they did say though in the in the next pat or the next patch that's coming up, right? They're gonna make some of that gear at least farmable. It'll probably be like a, a twenty energy node or whatever, but yes. it'll still be 
farmable. Yeah, exactly. They're going to make it a farmable, but is it going to be something that we can attain? I don't know. Is right, it, if they're going to put it on the hardest node possible, is it going to be, you know, at, you know, at 812 or whatever the highest node, 912, <laughs> right. right? Is it going to yeah. be that? Um, and that's okay if it is. It really is. I mean, I think that that would right. be reasonable if that's where it was put. Um, but, right, because at least you got the chance. That you could get there, correct? Get it, but. And and but it, it, if you, it, if you can do it with your nine characters, or you know, there are some characters in the game that just take a lot more gear. Um, in fact, I'm kind of at that point right now where Zantara, I'd like to have her up, but she just to get her to gear. I think it's gear nine. I have need two Kirks, two curse madnesses for for yeah. gear nine, just to get her to gear nine. And I'm like, I'm gonna spend two thousand drag coins. I've been saving. I have them but they're not popping up yet. And so I'm, I'm going to do it. Um, uh, but it's one of those things where I'm kind of waiting and I'm trying to see if this is, if this is possible. Uh, and right. yeah, it's I noticed little... gearing her up in the test account. She was brutal. She was. And you know, it's kind of interesting is I didn't realize the, what the characters needed until we were in the test accounts, oh, all yeah. leveling Me everybody too. up. And then I was like, Oh geez. Okay. Some characters cost more, um, than other characters to gear. And I think that, you know, just kind of some own feedback from mine. Nobody's actually given me this feedback, but one of the things that I plan on focusing on is the gear progression, what they take to gear them up, because that may, that may be like, how valuable are they? Are they in this amazing character? Um, and they have hard to gear and maybe we should be talking about, okay, they're amazing and they're hard to gear, but maybe they're easy to gear and they're, and they're hard. Somebody I've noticed recently is like, um, Patriarch Chi to go from eight to nine was kind of a boost, but from go to nine to ten wasn't that wasn't particularly hard. Um, and no, so he actually four blues in there. Yeah, he did. And so I and I was like, that's amazing. Uh, and yeah. so I just leveled him to ten. And but of course I'm not currently attacking hard work, but that you know he's but he's a great character, especially for you know conquering tower and whatnot. And so oh yeah, he can carry you for sure. Well, I really do appreciate you coming in and talking uh, with me today well, and talking about the game. A anytime, man. Anytime. I really enjoy your yeah, content. It's a lot of fun. It's really, really beneficial. I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy going in and learning things that I don't already know. Especially, um, I, I'm really looking forward to watching your goblins video. I have people in my chat who love goblins. I don't have them. They look cool. I've you, tried to mess with them in the raid. I I can get I can get um, a goblin team right now with uh, with uh, what it, with uh, what was his name Diesel Rog and with Major mm -hmm. Shot to do roughly 300, 400 thousand damage in T seven. Um, I've shown some of that footage. It's not, it works and he, it's kind of cool. They don't have a healer yet, and I think they're going to be even better if they get a healer. Um, they Correct. may even get even better if they Denise get a shot. Fantastic. Right. When she drops, that's going to be faction changing for them. They really will, uh, but when when you look at her thing, I mean, she's healing for nine hundred percent of her magic damage. Right, and putting up at level six, she'll put up um, debuff immunity for two turns. Well, and based on based on what we've seen, she's right, she's got a fifty. She's a she only needs fifty shards to unlock, so she's going to be like a marquee character that comes out, yeah. right? And so mm -hmm. I, I don't. It, will it be a marquee character that we are going to do an event for like cruel or is it going to be kind of a marquee legendary type character that comes out in a uh bory fashion. In, in a bory fashion in a tournament yeah. or are yeah. they going to eventually start so we can buy packs uh i don't know that hasn't happened yet i kind of hope they don't do it that way i, I uh, hope personally so that but that's just how i feel about it there. all right i yep. don't that I will probably never buy any of those because those look painful. Right. <laughs> That's just they are. Oh, they're brutal. So, all yeah. right. Well, yeah, Zary, if, if you get a chance to play with them, though, play with them on the test account because they are super fun to play with. Just not arena, not higher end of even the you know like the the campaign mode, but just to put them in there and see how they play off each other. They remind me a lot of the Ewoks from Star Wars. You might have, you right? Know, no, I do. Them. I had an Ewok. I had a gear uh, gear eleven full Ewok team. Um, I was able to get C three PO, even though that was yeah. really hard, <laughs> really really hard. It was brutal. Yeah. But I did. I ended up getting it. And it, so 
I, I really do appreciate you coming in. Everybody, please uh, go check now, this man's you. channel out. He's doing a great, great, great content. Um, go in there, hit him, hit him up with the subscribe, hit that notifications bell. If you are new to my channel and it's the first time you're watching this, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. Leave Absolutely. a comment down below. If you like these sorts of things, I will continue to do them. I will try to see if I can reach out to as many other content creators as I can um, to talk to them about what's going on in the game. Game, what they're currently doing i really do appreciate you being here zary have a great night with your family man thank you so oh, much you too, and thank have you so a much. great day and go hawks today um Amen. or yesterday in the last in, in you know i guess it'll be posted tomorrow in our win over the panthers and i That's really right. do appreciate it and we will see everybody next time when gaming and the law intersect